Hi, I'm Pat Hindle with Microwave Journal. I'm here at European Microwave Week 2022 talking with Luca Peregrini, general co-chair of this year's show. So you really had a short time to prepare this year with London being in April. What challenges did you have to overcome to pull that off? Actually, this year was very tough to organize the conference because of the really very short time that we had to between the, the last event in London and this one. Therefore, we have to shorten and compress a lot of activities, in particular those related to the scientific part and therefore the setup of the, of the uh, conferences. <clears throat> And forums, and uh, also the exhibition started a bit late in the in the setting up and and in uh, hiring the, the exhibitors, and therefore that was uh, even challenging. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that the the most critical part was really to get uh, the attendees in on board because uh, of the uh, previous show, and we. Let's say we're a bit scared that the, the people wouldn't come for another show in six months, but uh, unfortunately we, we overcome this and we have a lot of people, also because we have a quite large offer of events and activities within this week. So you had some great uh, special forums that you did this year. What were some of the hot topics that you were doing those around? Yeah, actually, besides the, 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 the typical conferences, the European uh, Monolithic Macro Integrated uh, Conference, the U European Microwave Conference, and the uh, European Radar Conference that are somehow uh, going on and developing year by year, we have uh, the three forums, the one on automotive, uh, which is uh, very well attended this year, as it has been in the previous edition. And uh, it involves a uh, high-level person in, uh, companies related to automotive activities and this is very nice and then we have also the uh, defense uh, security and space forum which this year is uh, even coming back somehow because it was a bit uh, less attended in the previous year but this year we have a lot of attendees also because of the focus on defense especially uh, on, on, on security and defense and uh, also the 5G to 6G forum which is growing because of course this is a very hot topic especially looking for 6G mostly than 5G because 5G is somehow over for those that work in this field and therefore we are talking about uh, 6G mostly and we have the involvement of service provider as well as uh, uh, the companies that work in this field for to provide this, the system. Therefore I believe this will be really attractive for both for the let's say uh, academic attendees and for company people that uh, are here in, the, in, this, uh, uh, in this event. And how about what are some of the new features or special events that you added this year? Yeah, actually, uh, this year we, we decided to drop, especially in, in the activities related to students, we decided to drop some of them because we are somehow not so attractive anymore. And therefore, we added one uh, very interesting stuff, which is the three-minute thesis for students, which is uh, they have to give a pitch on their research, very short, three minutes, very concentrated, and intended for our general audience. We have also some judges that come from outside our field, and this is the reason why we believe this can be attractive. It has been attractive in other uh, conferences where it has been done therefore this is something especially for young people then we really struggle to attract new people for this uh, microwave activities because we know we need new blood and we need new people that come in and become future uh, technician uh, pr practitioner and leaders in our in our field and this is from on this on this side then we also added activities that are mainly social activity, but I believe, strongly believe that the networking is really a, a very important part of these events. And in fact, the, uh, the attendees are growing and this means that people want to, to be in touch, to meet other people, and the networking activities are very important. Therefore, we have plenty of uh, uh, events, uh, let's say, uh, outside or inside the conference center, dinners, lunches, and uh, a lot of possibility to network and to meet your peers and discuss and make friends because this is also important in this event. And so it looks like we're kind of working our way out of COVID. Are we back? Yeah, actually. Uh, Hopefully the, the COVID is not completely gone, but people now are somehow confident that they can meet again, as we see here around. And I would say, I don't know if uh, from the, 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 let's say the medical point of view COVID is over, but from the technical point of view, I see here a lot of people. We are amazingly surprised by the number of attendees, which is growing and is beyond our expe expectation. We have the exhibition, which is sold out, and I believe we are back to somehow normal business. Well, thank you very much, Luca, for talking with me today. Coming to you from European Microwave Week 2022 in Milan.